Very small sort of guitar solo. Clean. To the point. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am your host and steward of staccato Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube and today we are looking at Hailstorm. Love Bites, so do I, captured in the live room. So before we do that though, I just would like to remind you all to please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff we do here every week on the channel. And if you're new, hey, right, I subscribe down in, below in the comment section and I will do my very best to respond to as many people as I possibly can. Now, Hailstorm. Now, my, I first was uh, learned something about Hailstorm when I encountered Lizzie Hale and uh, her duet or duet uh, collaboration with um, The Who and uh, their incredible song, uh, Song of Woman. And, um, but this is going back a little ways and this was suggested by James, a subscriber who said, hey, if you wanna go a little bit deeper into uh, Lizzie Hale's uh, music, I suggest you take a look at this song. And actually it wasn't just James, but a few other subscribers as well had suggested that, hey, take, take a look at uh, Lizzie's other stuff and her other vocals. Uh, with her group uh, Hailstorm. So that's what we are doing today. We are looking at Hailstorm, Love Bites, So Do I, and this is a live version in studio captured in the live room. So let us hit click. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Alright, Love Bites, So Do I. Oh, great drum sound. <laughs> Don't listen what your girlfriend said. She reads those magazines. say you fail the test. You don't know what Okay, so this all looks very live. But I, I have to I have to wonder sometimes when I see a, a condenser mic for the vocals up here and the drums being not isolated in a different room. Again, we talked about this a few times, especially when this guy is going so ha hard and heavy, but I could be wrong. This is all, this could obviously all be live. I hope it is. Uh, it sounds great though. It sounds pristine. It sounds really, really good in my headphones. She needs a slither like a viper and get you by the neck. A lot of uh, growl, a lot of rasp on her voice, on her vocal right there. And I know that she can sing very cleanly as well, so it's really great to be able to have that flexibility as a vocalist. You're not just always sort of screaming into it. You, you can pull that, tease those extra colors out and put them into your performance. Very aggressive vocal, very aggressive on the drums too. Wow, he's playing them really hard. Okay. Oh, May, that chick can eat her heart out. Love bites, but saunter away, saunter away. Love bites, but saunter away, saunter away, saunter away. Hear that? Yeah. Extra rasp on the top of the, the note. Kicks you down and shoots you up and spits you out and messes with your sanity by twisting all your thoughts around. They say it's blind, they say it awaits. Every time it seals your fate, now it's got you by the balls. It won't let go until you fall. Oh, <laughs> kibbles and bits. 
minutes, man. That last scream to end off that entire stream of consciousness of like screaming. That kicked me in the groin. Wow. <laughs> okay, I just gotta look at that. Look at that. Okay, so to switch gears, all right, so she's, you have a lot of that um, uh, breath pressure, um, <laughs> subglottal breath pressure, as well as, the, you know, the uh, false vocal cords engaged to get that sort of vocal rasp growl thing, and then to just switch to a nice, clean vocal sound. And what did she do? No rasp, really. Very small sort of guitar solo, clean, to the point. No holding back. Great, that was great, that was great, 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 great. Oh man, I gotta, uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I noticed while she was doing that. Thank you, uh, James, and all those who suggested I take a look at Love Bites, the live session. Um, that was very enlightening. Um, uh, wonderfully aggressive, not holding back on her vocals at all, which is you know what I expected given what I'd seen from um, the uh, collaboration with The Who. This was, a, a, again, a, a much more raw side to her vocals that I haven't seen before. Now, if you notice, uh, let me see if I can call up an image here of her doing her thing. There we go. All right. That is an example of a very hung jaw. Ah! And, you know... I had, uh, I had a teacher for a long time. She helped me so much with my technique. And she was like, look, you don't need to, you don't need to do that. In fact, you go, you, the most efficient way to produce your sound is to just have a very relaxed jaw. Don't invite any extra tension into this area. And so I tried and I tried and I tried to, to sort of embody that technique and not, and not do what, what Lizzie Hales is doing right here. And then, of course, I... Um, I met up with a local uh, uh, operatic legend, uh, Richard Margison, and we were uh, collaborating on a, a new piece together. And he's he's like worked at the Metropolitan Opera. He's all over Germany. He's been all over the world, you know, Japan and Korea and uh, Australia, uh, all throughout the U.S. And he's had a monster, monster career. And um, and so I said, hey, do you, you want to just do you want to just talk some technique? And he's like, yeah, sure. So we, we had a little session. He's like, dude, why aren't you opening your mouth? <laughs> like, get you want a big sound? Open your mouth. Like, make ah ah get get it as make give your voice as uh, as, as least amount of resistance to get that sound out as you possibly can. <clears throat> so I think that you know sometimes there's a, there's a balance. Uh, and often, you know, coaches uh, find what works for them and try and imprint that upon um, whatever uh, their student might, they, they want their student to try and embody. And, uh, and sometimes you've got to just figure out what works for you. And Lizzie Hale obviously has figured out what works for her is to open up her mouth because she's got a lot of sound to, to come out. And look, she's like, what is that? Like a foot and a half from, uh, away from the microphone. It's hard to tell. Um, but she's obviously pumping out a ton of volume and, uh, and it's working for her. So, um, I'm, I'm just pointing that out to say sometimes in the spirit of experimentation, you need to find what works for you as a vocalist. So now if you are a young vocalist and you're trying to figure out what's, what, what is this whole vocal technique that all these vocal coaches are talking about? Um, I strongly recommend, and, and you're wanting to, um, you know, 
figure out what your technique is, I strongly recommend that you reach out to a vocal coach. Best way to do that is to learn one-on-one -on -one in the same room, if you can, if that's possible. Now, times being what they are, not always possible. You can certainly reach out to one of us out here in YouTube land. There are many people who offer vocal coaching services. If you want to work with me, I will be sure to leave a link down in the description below. And as always, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff we produce here. Tips and tricks and vocal hacks we produce here every week on the channel. So thank you if you've made it s this far <laughs> to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.